Welcome back, Pez fans, to a double derby edition of Game of the Week. We are on the red side of Manchester, the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is on the bubble, and Pep Guardiola is on the warpath. Manchester City, five points off of the top spot. Manchester United in the position number five. Ferran Torres scouting for an opening, here's Gundogan. Returns back to the Spaniard. It's a hammering strike at his countryman, David De Gea. Great save. 12 years ago, it was another well-known Torres. He tormented United at Old Trafford. De Bruyne, the first corner of the game. Defended by Fernandez. now Cancelo. It's robbed by Fred. Now United can counter. Ronaldo flicks his out wide to Greenwood. Laporte cannot match. The young Mason driven back into the box towards Ronaldo. It is the dream start for the dream return. Cristiano Ronaldo returns to the Manchester derby with a prescription for painkillers to ease the strain of carrying Manchester United on his back since returning. Gondwan has brought it down for Grealish. It's still Grealish tries to curl it around the hips of Maguire. Excellently observed by De Gea amongst all those blue and red bodies. And Bissaka, Greenwood. Positive movement from United. Now Bissaka into the centre towards Rashford and he's missed it completely. Left it a little too late to swing the peg. Nearly takes Carl Walker's jaw off in the process. Point immediately to Gabriel Jesus. Oh, and he's thumped it. The next door neighbours have levelled the noise here at Old Trafford. Gabriel Jesus with a trademark striker's finish. Underlining a fast and furious start here. Between two of the Premier League's bitter rivals, it's third versus fifth place in that Premier League table. Shaw has seeked out the assistance of Rashford. Ronaldo returns it back to Marcus Rashford. Goal number two for United, prevented by Edison. Edison thrilled with his handiwork to save the least. Now United can counter again. Now Ronaldo is going to sit in that play, make a roll, and he's released. Marcus Rashford, Kyle Walker trying to keep up, and now this time Marcus Rashford finally finds the goal net, and United return to pole position in the derby. Moments earlier, Edison had Marcus's number, but this is no look pass from Ronaldo that sets the road for Marcus Rashford's reckoning. Just a little nudge from the woodwork before the ball finds its resting place in the bottom corner. Fred has found himself unmarked on the edge of the area when he goes for it. It's thwarted by his countryman Edison. Rana intercepts. De Bruyne brings it down to the German Gondwan now. Jesus seeking out a brace. De Bruyne with another corner, seven minutes away. From half time. This time it was Rodri with that direct hit on the head. Greenish. Greenish! He's clipped the post. Gondwan. Rodri picks out De Bruyne. Oh, and he skidded it along the surface. In the blink of an eye, three minutes into the second half, just as Ronaldo did three minutes into the first. We have. Another impactful goal that could well set the momentum for the second half. It's flicked up slightly and spun into the back of the net like a daisy cutter from De Bruyne. Kyle Walker, so over stretch towards Maguire. Couldn't clear his lines. Mares has blocked the flow of United traffic with that one. He's picked out Gabriel Jesus Christ for the match winning goal, surely. In euphoric athletic fashion. Manchester United have thrown away a single point in the final minutes of the game. 
And Maguire was doomed as soon as he swung his leg for the clearance. The United defence couldn't regroup and it's a glorious match winning goal from Gabriel Jesus. Last goal of the dice will fall to Ronaldo. To ball! A big fat zero is caught by Edison. The curtains close on a theatre of dreams. It is Manchester United 2, Manchester City 3. We are in Lombardy for the first Milan derby of the Serie A season. The derby della Maladonina. It is second place AC Milan versus third place and by a distant third Inter. The defending league champions only the away team semantically. Realistically, both teams will fight for the right to claim either the San Siro or the Giuseppe Mezza as their true yard for one evening here in Milan. Damian's composed himself enough to squeeze in the cross, looking for Jekka. And the ball echoes around the stadium as it hits the goal post. Salimakers seeking out Graham Diaz, who has robbed the defender, and he can't curl it around Hantanovic in what would have been a catastrophic goal to concede from the defending champions. Jekka's brought down the goal kick to Martinez, he's dropped the shoulder pass, Roman Oli! Oh, and he's looped it over! The threshold with an instinctive dipping strike. Latoro Martinez has drawn the first sample of blood in the feud of Milan. Vintage knockdown, winning the aerial 50-50 for Edin Dzeko. And it was his change in direction from the Argentinian that led his countrymen into no man's land. Salimekis, Diaz opens up for the strike and it's a total wipeout to no penalty. Iba flicks it on. Salimekis looking for Rimic. The inviting header goes nowhere, fizzles out. It's Diaz, back heels it to Ibrahimovic who goes for it from distance. And the height was too tempting for Hendanovic. Hernandez. Seeking out Ibrahimovic, he's scouted by the defender. Now Kessi had some frightening pace on it. Overcompensates. Castellano. Kessi. Now Diaz might have an opening here. And at long last, Brahim Diaz has been rewarded for his dogged persistence. Vital equaliser for AC Milan. They will remain in front of Inter no matter what happens tonight. But for now, they won't bow to the humiliation of a defeat at home. And into the spot. He's picked up Damian. Martinez with a flash turn to Erratic. And Magnan rightfully infuriated. Unlike in Manchester, Milan's red and blue contingents cancel each other out. It's AC Milan 1, Inter 1. Two polarising results in this week's Game of the Week. Next weekend, World Cup qualifiers. Why not let me know below which fixtures should be showcased. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.